Yo, what is up guys, today we're talking about Destiny 2, now specifically we're going to be looking at the Iron Banner quest steps that Iron Banner gave us, and not going to lie, it's not going to be a lot considering it's only one quest step, but I did want to make this video out for the people who are having difficulty with the sidearms or auto rifle kills, because I ended up using a few combinations that I did not think I would be enjoying as much as I am. So, first and foremost, you're going to want to go to Saladin, and Saladin is going to give you a quest step which is called Red Hot Iron, which essentially is defeat opponents using sidearms and auto rifles. Precision kills grant the most efficient progress. 25 sidearm kills and 25 auto rifle kills. So once you complete that, you get the emblem, the two weapons and five shaders. So after that, that's pretty much it. You don't get the armor in the quest steps like how it used to be. It's kind of disappointing to be quite honest i mean granted it's not like insanely like oh my god i hate this it's honestly not that like it's not that crazy it's just that i liked going for each of the armor because i don't know it was just felt better in my opinion now once you complete the quest steps you get the two weapons they're free in the random world and then you start farming for the armor. So essentially, I'm probably going to play Iron Banner all week to get all the armor. Which means the, the armor review is probably going to be later. This is most, just, just the guide. And that's pretty much it. So, once you complete it, obviously you're going to want to go for headshots. It's going to be the fastest way to get it. But if you guys are having troubles, I was using a few things that I was enjoying. So... I was using Rat King actually. Rat King was a lot of fun. If you guys don't know, Rat King is basically reloading immediately after a kill grants brief period of invisibility and this and then Rat Pack, which is the intrinsic perk, this fully this fully automatic weapon becomes stronger when nearby allies also have it equipped, stack up to six times. So if you have friends, you can tell them to stack it, we'll fucking kill everyone with it. But Another one is also obviously Suros Regime. Suros is fucking gross. I don't have to tell you guys that it's gross. We just know that it's gross. Monte Carlo is good. But if you guys want to know like the specific ones I was using, I was using Rat King with my Nine Hunger. That's literally the only thing I was using. Nine Hunger is gross right now. And honestly, that's it. That was all I was using. Racking with or with racking with nine hunger. After after I, I got the hand can no, after I got the auto rifle kills, then I switched over to Rat King with another sidearm. And after that, I mean it's pretty much I I'm done. I did it. So obviously I'm gonna be telling you guys Rat King's the way to go. Rat King was a lot of fun. If you don't want to use Rat King, which is weird, but I get it, I guess. You could use Devil's Ruin. Devil's Ruin can kill a Guardian with the laser, from what I remember. So if you want to use that, you can definitely use that. I just feel like Rat King was a lot more useful because once you got that kill, you go invisible. Free invisibility, my guys. So that was pretty much it. And let I'm just going to show you guys what I ended up getting from the quest. These are my first weapons. So I ended up getting Iron Grip, which massively improves weapon stability at the cost of reload speed. The reload speed's not that bad right now. It's like it's slow, but it's not like insanely bad. And then I got d Dynamic Sway Reduction, which improves, a improves accuracy and stability while continuously holding down the trigger. And then a Stability uh, Masterwork. So this shit is st stable as fuck fuck boy so this is probably gonna be the weapon i use a lot it's stable it's it's a little crazy how stable it is and then fool's remedy which is quick draw and moving target i actually love this quick draw is really good on it i'm gonna want to see what the actual whole like all both weapons have that's pretty much it guys i will say this is the part of the video that i really was waiting for which is my opinions on sunsetting <sighs> they're a little bit more different now because i ended up getting swarm of the raven i have this role i know i have this role i've gotten this role before and my issue is sunsetting 
this way where it's like okay cool all these weapons are, are all these weapons are useless but we're bringing these back with no new rotations no new perks no new nothing and it's just it feels like it feels like they're just trying to hold all the stuff that they made from past seasons and whatnot and using it as a backlog to give us more stuff in the future which is almost like the engrams that we get from eververse now like or not eververse but the season pass but it used to be eververse it's kind of like that where they're still milking the stuff from previous seasons to give us and i know like that's a different situation but it just feels like the same like now everything up until the season 12 the new expansion all the stuff from previous seasons now is just like okay now we can just literally pick anything we want from those seasons or dlcs and then just put it into a dlc if we have nothing to add to it and i think that's the fear that everyone has i think that's the fear that everyone has when it comes to new seasons going forward are we just going to keep seeing old armor and old weapons come back with no like very minimal armor or weapons coming back that's the fear i think a great way to relieve some of that stress would be to would be to be able to infuse the new weapons and armor into older weapons or armor so a, a good example would be like this swarm of the raven is from this season so that means it has that watermark shining sphere which is what i'm also able to get this season if I like, let's say, if I like this snapshot sites and tracking module role, and I want to keep this role, but I don't want to farm for it, I should be able to go here and infuse this and not just get the power, but also get the, the emblem of like, oh, this is now a season of the arrivals shining sphere. I feel like that would be a great way, obviously, we would still hoard every weapon because at that point well this weapon might come back eventually but i think that's a better option than looking at your vault and being like cool i can't use you in a year i can't use you in two months i can't use you next week like it's better than seeing all our weapons deteriorate because essentially each weapon has potential each of these weapons has potential to become a weapon that i can use in the future and I think that's far more impactful than just giving each weapon a timer. And that's my issue. That's one of my main issues with Destiny 2 is the fact that it always feels like Bungie is trying to get the easy way out, which is fine. Logically, that makes sense. But then logically, two primaries would work, but that didn't end well. So I just, me personally, I don't like sunsetting for that specific reason is the fact that all the all our old weapons are just going to be sold to us again in, in new seasons i know this it's been happening since forever but now it's it's going to get to a point where we're just going to get tired of it sure we get excited for older weapons but that's because those older weapons that we used to get like like the interference vi the escape velocity the old-fashioned those weapons were never random rolled that's why we got excited for them but are you telling me that i'm gonna get excited for for nine hunger coming back but with no no differences only that oh this one's a season of the arrivals so that means this one has a year that one nine hunger that you have in your vault no that one's old why can't i infuse this nine hunger and make it my old one into a season of the arrivals why don't i have that ability i should have that ability that's my biggest issue with the whole sun setting is that it feels cheap and it feels like they're just going to try to sell us old stuff that we already have so let me know what you guys think in the comments below i personally do not like it at fucking all but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support i will be doing an armor guide soon for all the classes, I just have to get it all first. So I will see you guys later.